Welcome back. Egypt hosted uh, recently the third Mediterranean Water Forum with the participation of many Mediterranean countries, whether from the south or the north of the Mediterranean. Cooperation among uh, these countries is vital, is crucial, as when it comes to water, water um, is going to be uh, one of the main challenges faces, facing humanity in general. And as I said in the intro of this episode, Egypt is always shouldering the responsibility of being a Mediterranean, Arab, African, Islamic uh, nation. And we are playing all the time a role in promoting the region in general from all aspects. We do have a lot of questions regarding this forum, the targets or the goals of uh, this forum, the recommendations, the purposes, the reasons even behind having this forum and uh, to have it also here in Egypt and we do have an expert who is going to answer all our questions regarding this. We are very much delighted to have with us Professor Dr. Mohamed Rami, Professor in the National Water Research Center. Thank you very much for being with us and have a very good morning first. It's my pleasure. Good morning, uh, Professor Rami. Let's first talk about that important gathering or meeting. What were the main important topics that were taken uh, by that uh, gathering? There was different, uh, many, many topics that were continuous uh, from uh, the second and first world um, uh, Mediterranean Forum. Uh, the main topics was um, um, climate change adaptation, it was uh, water, energy, uh, food uh, ecosystem mixes was uh, sanitation integrated sanitation for all. Uh, there was also talking about um, financing for uh, develop, uh, development uh, sustainable developments. There um, uh, there was a big issue regarding uh, energy renewable for using reuse of water, especially for desalination and for water treatment. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what about illegal migration, sir? Well, was it discussed? Uh, it's, it's the, 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 um, the forum is mainly for scientific people, mm -hmm. researchers in water resources. Mm -hmm. They was talking um, mainly for, uh, for climate effect, effect about farmers, how they're going to be raising the, uh, the seawater life, how they're going to affect the ecosystem in the different regions in the north and south. We did not uh, mention a lot about migration because it's not, not our specialties. But, sir, um, uh, I think that we should build or we should uh, start uh, from where others ended. And there was many climate change conferences held by the UN and the one which was held in France, for example. And there, there are a lot of uh, uh, climate change pacts or protocols uh, like the famous Kyoto one, for example, where these things or the recommendations of the previous forums or conferences discussed or we are starting every time from scratch? No, we are not starting from scratch. We are always using the recommendation and their um, findings for how it's going to affect our region. Mm -hmm. The climate change is going to affect the whole world in different ways. Mm -hmm. Some places are going to be having um, sea rising, some other places are going to affect for drought or floods. So Mediterranean has its, its own ecosystem. It's having all uh, clim climate and um, um, specialists for uh, agriculture, uh, human, um, human habitats, and all these kinds of things can be affected by climate change. That we think all the findings from Kyoto, from different um, uh, conferences and meetings regarding climate change, and we try to, uh, to see how it's going to affect the region for Mediterranean. Mediterranean, uh, th this meeting actually is, is start discussing how they're going to um, how we can uh, mitigate, uh, how, what, what kind of mitigation plan we are going to use for uh, minimizing the effect of climate change on the people, land, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Right, we all know that uh, um, water consumption worldwide uh, for many years uh, have been a very important issue to um, uh, as, a, as a main, as a foundation for uh, um, living for maintaining a safe life. To rationalize water consumption is very important. And uh, there should be some awareness campaigns and uh, some uh, type of um, uh, raising that particular important culture in the back mind of the new generations, not only the old generations, because we, as old generations, we have also uh, have had this type of awareness. 
uh, how do you take uh, the rationalizing of water consumption? Because water consumption is very important for many reasons. But anyway, uh, rationalizing water consumption, what are you doing as uh, experts and as uh, important uh, sectors to be able to um, raise this part of awareness uh, in the minds of people? The, the first World Water Mediterranean was held in, in 2014, mm. uh, 2001, I'm sorry, 2001, and um, that was, uh, st uh, it was held on uh, Morocco, and it was mainly about uh, demand management. This means that's how much water consumption for different sectors, how we're going to manage that to, um, to increasing the efficiency of water use, and at the same time, we're not going to affect the, the agricultural sectors or municipal sectors. And on the second one, which was 2014, it was uh, held in Spain, and they were doing this finding and try to, uh, to put this in the climate change effect on it. How is it going to managing the water demand with regard for the uh, climate change? Today we are talking, uh, or last week we we're talking about that how we are going to maximizing our efficiency for water use for consumptions. We are uh, we we explore different um, um, uh, ex experimental um, studies about how to reuse the water uh, using um, renewable energy uh, and we have we discussing all aspects of it like transferring uh, treatments and the bio the, 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 the how we are going to make this for the small farmers as as, as also for the big community um, uh, Jordan display um, uh, illustrate uh, the, um, uh, Explain there called Zarka in English called Zarka, and try to to to, to show to other Mediterranean people how this is a successful story that can be applied for other parts in the Mediterranean. Mm. This is a source of pride, sir. Yes. When you're speaking that Jordan was doing this, meaning that an Arab country is doing or is giving an example or is a pioneer in a certain field. Why I'm saying this? Because you were when you were talking about what happened last week you used the pronoun we who are we we you mean all the countries which were participating in this forum because all the time uh, when it comes to climate change for example I think Africa is paying such a huge price for what's going on and when it comes to the Mediterranean the north are developed countries and the south are developing ones what about the kind of cooperation between the south and the north for the best interest of all the peoples whether living in europe or in the arab region the climate change is going to affect all of us the south and the north right now we one of the main findings for the, the three uh, uh, mediterranean forum is how we are going to exchange experience formation and data uh, in 1998, there was a, a big project uh, developed, um, uh, started by European Union. It's called EMUS, which is meaning Environmental Mo uh, um, Water Information System, uh, a Mediterranean Water System, and that was uh, for um, for exchange experience and data between different countries in the north and south. There was talking about um, uh, how we know how how we developing developing countries how uh, they are using different technology and, um, and um, information for not only developing a water resources system or eff efficient use of water demand, but also for uh, how we're going to monitor this kind of activities. Uh, right now, uh, European Union start a, a huge um, um, program for collecting information using satellites, and they start with uh, um, a satellite called Sentinel-1 and 2. Right now, we, they also launched Sentinel-3, and they're going to launch uh, four and five for only climate change. And all these images are free for um, the, um, the, whole, the whole world. This can using this kind of information for developing their own plans, for the studying the environmental impact assessment in different parts of the world. And the Mediterranean countries are, um, are um, very encouraged to use this kind of activities for monitoring their water uses and for uh, uh, monitoring their demands. Mm -hmm. What are the main uh, challenges uh, from your own point of view as a water expert that are facing the world in the coming uh, 10 years? Droughts in different places and the mm -hmm. flood in other places. Yeah. Yeah. The climate change is uh, one of the effects right now, the extremes 
um, values of water are going to happen, which mm -hmm. means that we're going to expect very high floods or very um, drought uh, periods. Mm -hmm. They're going to affect the countries. The countries need to have uh, different plans for how they are going to um, um, uh, um, deal with this kind of issue, how they are going to mitigate this kind of effects, especially for the farmers and for the municipal sector. The municipal sector, even though they're taking the most priority for their plans, but the, for the for small farmers, especially for in the rain-fed areas and for um, uh, uh, for remote areas, they're going to be affected for that. And this is one of the plans that we are going to exp explore in the uh, World Water Forum, it's which we're going to be held in, in uh, Mexico March. In, uh, in, in March in Brazil. Mm. Brazil or Mexico? Brazil. Okay. Sir, I'd like to return back to the coordination among the MED countries. Because unfortunately, there are a lot of PhD thesis uh, and the research and stuff like that, and they are unfortunately not used. What about the coordination and cooperation among uh, uh, the MED countries? This cooperation is among, for example, ministries of scientific research or their research centers or the uh, universities, for example, or any specific faculties of agriculture or engineering or stuff like that, or among the NGOs. I mean, is it a, um, a political issue or, or only a scientific issue or a mix between both or a scientific, political, economic issue? I mean, how the recommendations, for example, of this forum are going to be implemented? On what level? Well, uh, uh, one of the things that's in the World Water Forum going to be held in, um, in Brazil, that's, it's, uh, it's gathering all this kind of uh, multidisciplinary people. That's like the, there is going to be science going from there, from di different countries. There are going to be water, uh, water sources managers and operators. There are going to be non-governmental uh, people that are going there. All this are dis discussing in different themes what we are going to face in the next century. Mm -hmm. how we are going to make plans or financing plans for this kind of things. One of the good things about the, fo the fo Mediterranean Forum, one of the outputs is that the making a recommendation that no water resources projects were going to be held unless they were going to study the effect of climate change on that projects. Mm -hmm. And that's, this is one of the things that we are promoting for next decades that we are not, uh, we are, we are needs, that we are not going to wasting money or time for 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 this kind of activities. This this uh, uh, this uh, findings not only by the water uh, researcher or uh, PhD people, but also for the government for the financing um, uh, communities that the the um, try they try to build something for the future. Mm -hmm. Right. One of the main issues also is the pollution uh, everywhere and pollution of the waters or the. Uh, I mean the waters that m humans are consuming. For example, uh, the pollution that is uh, challenging or threatening the Nile water or the Nile River here in Cairo. And there were some complaints that there were uh, some parts that were polluted. I mean people, I mean again we go back to the issue of awareness. People uh, who are not really, don't come from a good culture or haven't had a uh, good quality of education or for whatever reasons tend to pollute the Nile River in some places and some entertainment places or uh, stuff like this. Do you have to do with uh, these problems? I mean, are you finding some plans to be able to stand up to these challenges in some areas, I mean, um, informal settlements or um, uh, in some places that are close to the river, over uh, Nile River from up till the south? of Egypt, uh, 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 where e people are, uh, some areas that people who don't come from a cultural ba good background uh, pollute the river. Are you po setting some plans to? The main sources of uh, pollution for water resources is the min um, um, municipal um, or the, the, the municipal uh, drainage. Mm. Uh, the, uh, in this part of, um, uh, of um, the, in this uh, uh, in the Mediterranean Forum, we're discussing different technology mm. with cheap technology that we can use for reuse. Like what? For they they were trying to do some uh, parameter uh, filters, and they all go, they found also the most um, um, 
um, cost uh, for uh, reuse of, uh, of drained water is uh, for energy. And mm -hmm. they were trying to, um, to push to using the re um, um, uh, renewable energy for uh, using in the uh, reuse of water. Uh, the, re the use of re uh, renewable energy is always financing burden. How they are going to use that because it's a big investment at, um, um, in the beginning and after that they are going to have a cheap or a cheap um, kind of energy that can be used for reuse or even for treatment. And they were trying to find some solutions for that, like how we are going to using different technology with different um, technology for, for, the, for uh, treatment and or different technology for renewable energy like uh, wind or like um, uh, solar energy or solar bond or something like that. Mm. They trying to mix this kind of stuff and this is a promotion idea that the scientific people need to, to make a lot of research about that. The financing people need to, to put their effort to minimize this kind of capital investments and um, loans from different uh, banks. This, all this uh, together, they're trying to make a community that's trying to, um, to, to, to treat the water in a cheap way. That's uh, going to encourage the farmers, the municipal holders, all these kind of people to use their water in an efficient way with no cost. That's going to decrease the, um, the pollution in the waterways. Mm. And the World Water Forum, which is going to take place in Brazil, and this is going to be in March, meaning that just uh, less than five weeks or something. Yes. Meaning that we do have a lot of homework to do. Of course. What should be our agenda? Well, the agenda is the findings that the Mediterranean, um, uh, uh, Mediterranean meeting forum uh, decided that we are going to talk about uh, um, three main topics. How the financing we're going to uh, for the for the for uh, sustainable developments using re, um, uh, renewable uh, energy for different uh, aspects of water treatment or for water use and um, uh, monitoring the water aspects for um, water aspects for uh, use for leakage for assumption in everything mm. well professor mohammed rami professor in national water research center thank you very much for your input sir and have a very good day and good luck thank you very much well, by this we come to the end of uh, this breakfast show episode. The, uh, episode you were in the company of my dear colleague Dina Hussain and myself Nermin Abdurrahman. Tomorrow is another day with another crew. Stay tuned only on Line TV International Hours for more updates and for more details. Please log on to www.nileinternational.net. Many thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Nina. My pleasure, Nermin.